Today, we will be looking at a BuzzFeed article. And we won't be teasing it, we won't be mocking it, because they actually did a funny article that I want to look at. Right after this quick sponsor. Hearing, hearing, hear, 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 hearing. You're more likely to have your data compromised than ever. In 2020 alone, 500,000 user accounts belonging to a popular video conferencing app were stolen and sold on the deep web. Usernames and passwords were sold for as low as a penny. Relying on big tech companies to protect you is no longer an option. That's why I'm such a big advocate of Virtual Shield. Virtual Shield is a no-log VPN that helps protect your private data from hackers. Protecting yourself takes seconds and works on all your devices. Try Virtual Shield risk-free for 30 days and receive 50% off for life by going to virtualshield.com slash bear or using the link below. 22 times Australian newspapers had the most bizarre headlines on the planet. Do you reckon any other country's media outlets call people dead set dickheads? No, probably not. Number one. First off, there was a time that a bunch of neighbours called the cops when they thought someone was being murdered, but it was just a spider. Ah! Fuck! Australian man screaming at spider, why don't you die? Triggers full police response. That fucking sounds like me. Multiple officers arrive at home to find Perth man with serious fear of arachnids trying to kill a spider. Yeah, that definitely sounds like me. I scream like a little bitch and I go get my fucking spray and I spray it and I run out of the room and then I don't go back into that room for like three days. Who are you kidding? You go get your wife. Okay, my, my wife sprays it. Actually, she, she like tries to let them outside and I'm like, no, fuck ya. If you let it outside, it's going to find its way back in. And this will all happen again. Number two. Then there was this idea, which definitely came up after a couple of drinks. Police search for motorised picnic table drivers. <laughs> Seen travelling through Perth's Scarborough beach area. So these guys have, like, made picnic tables on wheels with motors. So they can, like, flash mob a, a fucking public area with their picnic tables. Okay. Number three. The one thing to know about Aussie papers, we're not afraid to call people what they are. Drunk motorcyclists caught at 173 kilometres an hour during peak school time on busy road. Dead set dickhead. <laughs> Number four. In fact, we had a good three month period where every paper was calling lockdown breakers covid idiots. All right, that doesn't interest me that much. Number five, speaking of which, around that time, there was a lot of TP shortages, leading to headlines like this. Big W shopper tasered by police in toilet paper fight. <laughs> I remember that. I think there was a couple of days where we had to use, like, paper towels and napkins and shit because there was no fucking toilet paper. Stupid greedy people. Number six, man destroys karaoke machine with shovel is still on the loose. So apparently he destroyed this karaoke machine because it didn't have k -San, Which I've got to say is a fucking travesty in Australia. <laughs> You cannot have a karaoke machine or a jukebox machine without k -San. Number seven. Best man left bleeding after being hit in head by flying dildo. <laughs> and wait until you hear where it came from. Oh, I mean, they don't have details on that. I reckon it was a Bucks night and there was like a one of those ping pong bitches. You know that? Oh, and she shoved the dildo in and like... In and, it, and it flew out of her toilet. Vagina muscled it out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine explaining that to the emergency room staff. Number eight. Surely this one was a bet, right? Northern Territory of Australia Births, Deaths and Marriages Registration Act Section 23 Application to Register Change of Name of an Adult I, Paul John Phelps, change my name to Noop Snoopy White for all private, business and legal purposes and request all persons to designate and address me by my new name Signed, Noop Snoopy White Yeah, that cunt lost a bet. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Number 9. Check out my flaps. That is actually quite legendary. He's got thongs or flip-flops, as your Americans would say, as his mud flaps. And he's got a cunt sticker on the back of his ute. But it's actually C-U in the N-T. Number 10. The secret to this Olympic sprinter's success? His mullet. <laughs> Rowan Browning believes his mullet helps him in a traditionally alpha male event. Makes no sense. No, I, no, I see that making sense. It's like when I had that handlebar moustache. Everything I did was more alpha. More homosexual. Number 11. New South Wales surfer headbutts punches shark to escape attack. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good on you. Number 12. Man who punched kangaroo to save his dog risked his life. I remember seeing that video. There's a video out there of that. This guy gets in a full-on punch-on with a fucking kangaroo after it chased his dog. The heated moment caught on video in Australia raises questions about man versus nature. Number 13. Who remembers the time that Trump hung up on Malcolm Turnbull, our then dumbass PM, then blasted him on Twitter while calling him the wrong name? <laughs> Wouldn't that be an insult? One world leader talking to another regional leader and calling you by the wrong name. Ah, oh, Trumpy. Number 14. Meanwhile, it's the subhead on this one for me. Frog struck down by lightning and a few humans were almost hit too. <laughs> More details on page two. Number 15. This one sounds almost like some kind of dumb Reddit joke, to be honest. Army vehicle disappears. An Australian army vehicle worth $74,000 has gone missing after being painted with camouflage. <laughs> That's some fucking good camouflage. <laughs> Number 16. Monster crocodile faces off against tiger shark half its size in the Ord River in Kununurra. Number 17. We're not too sure how this one stood up as a legal plea, but it does make a good headline. Boyfriend tells court why he broke man's jaw in nightclub. He touched my missus. Well, I mean, that seems reasonable, depending on, like, where he touched her. I mean, did he just graze her elbow or something? Or did he grab her by the pussy? I mean, there's different levels of touching, obviously. Number 18. Children break into radio station, put on show, eat chicken nuggets, dye hair. <laughs> Look at this fucking subheadline. Wanky Yaparanara Poro. Hashtag obviously Aboriginal. Community station manager said she was angry to begin with, but she was seeing the funny side. I mean, that does sound pretty funny. Number 19. Even food reporting in Australia looks a little different. The Northern Territory has done it again. Presenting the soy sauce martini with dim sim garnish. Oh, actually, I'd try that. It's like soy sauce and vodka with a dim sim on the side. Number 20. What next? Hardcore vegans take aim at Bunnings' iconic sausage sizzle and demand it cancels a nationwide barbecue to raise money for bushfire victims, who, by the way, are mostly koalas and kangaroos and little furry animals in the, in the bush. Stupid vegans, you can go fuck yourself. Number 21. Plonk, Shardy and Goon, the colourful linguistic history of the way Australians talk about drinking. Well, I can decipher that easy. Plonk is Sauvignon Blanc, Shardy is Chardonnay, and Goon is just that cheap shit that you get in a fucking, in a bladder, you know, like a wine cask. Last one, number 22. High tackle, kangaroo balls fall from sky and nearly hit woman in head. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that was just a fun one. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments or at my super duper gay half step brother in law's Twitter account, B Skills. That's with three L's and an at at the start because it's Twitter. All right, catch you later. See you in the next one. Recession, session.